Good afternoon, back again, the author of the Evolution of America's Homebred Terrace, The Changing Culture, Judson Baycott, original founding member, Westside Cribs. Uh, what I would like to do, I like to talk about friendships, you know, within that crib game, that crib culture. And, two, and you know, a lot of people stand out, you know, and I don't want to offend, I got best friends as Cribs, and I don't want to offend anyone, but I'm gonna speak on all of y'all. But today, Big Sodi and Big Hub. Big Sodi. I met Big Sodi in 1983. My, he was part of Original Gangster Crips, which later, with the name change, become A Trade Gangster Crips. Uh, same with Hucklebuck. My brother introduced me to, to him. My brother was a co-founder of A Trade Gangster Crips. And, and when I came home in 83, he introduced me to him. And they became my road dogs. For about six, seven months, we ran together real tough. And I mean, you know, you know what I mean when you say we ran together. You know, uh, man, when I come home, you know, I was buck wild. We, I didn't had no weed in, in, in some good weed in years. Shit, it was on and cracking. You know, me, Sody, and Hucklebuck. You know, we used to do things together. You know, we had fun. And then uh, when I come home in '83, Sody already had two sons. You know, little Sody and baby Sody. Uh, Jeff Ryan. And James Simpson and James Simpson Jr., which is I think is little Sody, and uh, Jeff Ryan is baby Sody, and uh, he raised two hell of a proper, respectful young men. Believe me, because you know uh, in that crip world, most of the time when a crip has a baby. Especially a boy, he'll bring it around. Oh, this is and call him by. Hey, this is little so and so cuz. This is little cuz. This is or uh, say your name is Billy Bob. Oh, this is little Billy Bob. But see, so he didn't do that. He didn't bring him around, and he didn't allow nobody for them to call him little so. Oh, this so son. That's little so. That's baby so. No, call him by their name. As they grew older, they chose to do what they wanted to do. But as far as raising them up. Man, them, them young men and his daughter are so respectful. You know, uh, there's a pecking order in everything. And then when them youngsters come around, the older homies, such as myself and Big Bob, rest in peace, cuz oh. The first thing they would do before they go over there with their crew, we'd be in the park somewhere around or at a barbecue. Before they go kick with their crew, there is, they come and greet the older cats first with respect and you know in that crip game you hardly ever see that you know now it's harder and harder to see that i don't care if your father was a crip or what it's harder and harder to see that because the crip game the, the culture has changed so much so much that to be a crip it's not to me it's no longer a badge of honor because you have Crips killing Crips. You know, me, Sody, and uh, Huck used to talk about that all the time. And I can understand it, you know, the war with them, where they trade gangsters in the 60s. I, you know, when I first come home, I couldn't, but after talking with them, I can understand. I can understand because I'm not gonna say 60s is all wrong, but the homies did tell me for a fact and people who I, I believe in respect that you know they tried to avert that war. You know they you know they really tried to avert it, but the sixties pushed it. Big Rick and them pushed it. It is what it is today. From nineteen seventy nine to now, all the killings, you know, just so happened, Sodi, Big Sodi, and Big Huck survived it. You know because if you live in a trade gangsterhood land, you're a target for sixty. Just like if you live in 60 and you're a target for eight trade gangsters. So, you know, uh, in the neighborhoods, in the land, they're right next to each other. Same, you have to go to the same uh, middle school, Same, sometimes the same stores. So, you know, uh, it's a complicated thing in California, in that gang thing. You know, it's like no other place in the world. And to survive it, Hey, God is watching over you, partner. Believe me, God is watching over you. 
because in California, South Central, you could come out the door, you in one hood, as soon as you go across the street, you in another. Might be your enemy, which is true with the 60s in uh, a trade gangsters, 60s in Inglewood, 60s with the uh, 40s. They just, 60s with a uh, uh, P-Stone, 60s are surrounded by nothing but enemies. And you know, them brothers ain't got it, they don't have it easy, you know? And to get into their, back in their neighborhood, they gotta go through an enemy hood to leave and to come back. So it is what it is in California. And I salute Big Sody and her for the survival thing. And I salute you, homies, for being a friend. One love. Get the book. It tells the truth. One love.